Hey guys, this morning I was scrolling through Reddit and I came across a post about something called Dash Machine and they label it as another application bookmark dashboard with fun features. And I took a look at it this morning and I got it installed. I actually did some, uh, I looked it up a little bit online. I ran across their GitHub page uh, where they talk a bit more about it and they talk about the code that went into it, of course, that sort of thing. And they talk about it a little bit more down here. And then, then you get down into this little Docker area. And this is what we're going to use to install this in Docker. Now, there's a couple of ways you can do this. Of course, you can just run this in, uh, in your SSH program, whether it's putty or whatever or uh, I created a uh, Docker Compose file that you can put into Portainer. So we'll take a look at both ways to do that. Uh, pretty straightforward stuff there. Um, and then I'll just kind of show you how to uh, get some applications set up there on the dashboard and we'll just kind of go from there. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at how to get this installed. Okay, so here we are with Putty open and I'm logged into my server as root. Uh, over here in my notes, I've got uh, this already copied to my clipboard here. Now you can see, in fact, let me let me just drag this up here a little bit better so you can see. Um, so basically, uh, we've got our Docker create command. We've got a name for uh, the container. It's gonna be on port 5000. Uh, below that is where our configuration file is gonna go. So I've got a, a config folder in, in my server already. And I've just created a, a special folder in here just for dash machine. And then of course, it's got its information there that it's gonna put there. We're gonna restart unless stopped. And uh, of course, it's gonna pull uh, our mount joy slash dash machine latest. So let's go ahead and we'll just go ahead and right click that and we'll click enter. So it says it can't find it locally, so it's gonna go ahead and pull it. We'll go ahead and give this just a second to load and then we'll pull it up uh, on, our, uh, on our browser. Okay, so that is done. So now we've got a browser window here. I'm gonna go ahead and just press go. Give this a second. It may still be trying to load in the background. I believe it is. Let's uh, let's take a look there. All right, so here we go. Here is Dash Machine. Let's pop those together. Uh, for some reason, it didn't start, so let's manually start it. Uh, now it says it's running. Uh, looks like uh, it's working there maybe now. So we'll go ahead and refresh. Awesome, so there's nothing here. So uh, let's fix that. So um, if you saw my previous video, um, where I did a video about Heimdall. Basically, this is very similar to Heimdall in the respect that it's a bookmarking dashboard, uh, very much like this. So, uh, so what we're gonna do here is we're going to go into settings and over here, there's a, a lot of really great information. This is, this is how to do it. Like basically, uh, this whole thing right here talks about how to uh, go through the process of setting up different things. So the first thing I wanna do here is I wanna change the theme to dark and I like blue instead of orange. So let's do that. Uh, let's go ahead and click on save. And just like that, now we're in a dark mode. We've got blue accents instead of orange accents. Um, and that's all it takes to change that. So let's say we wanted to add something like Air Sonic. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna come over to, okay, so I've got some notes in my other window here. I'm gonna bring this right up here. Go ahead and click that. So basically what we're saying is we've got Air Sonic. That is the name of our application. Uh, the prefix here is gonna be HTTPS for me because I've got it set up. If you watched my previous video on how to set up uh, traffic with Cloudflare SSLs, that sort of thing. Uh, if you haven't seen that, definitely go check that out if you're interested in setting up your own domain. But uh, this is the URL that I used there. So uh, that's what we're gonna go ahead and put in there. Under that, it says icon and static images apps error sonic.png. Uh, same for the sidebar icon there as well. Now, those are both, uh, that's a, a relative path to the application where it's installed. And if you, you're gonna have to navigate to that particular folder. So you can actually find that if you open up uh, Putty or your SSH application there. So what we'll do is we'll use a find command here. So um, we know that AirSonic is, uh, uh, an image that we can search for, a file that we can search for. So what we'll do is type in oops, find space slash uh, forward slash space name. And then in quotes, we're gonna type in air sonic.png. We'll close that and then we'll search. So uh, here you can see that I found Heimdall. Uh, here we go. So now what we're gonna look for uh, is basically any of these lines here. Um, and we could then navigate, let's navigate to right there because static is part of what it's got under here for the icon. So let's just do a CD space, right click, enter, and then we can do LS. 
Um, there in there we've got images. So we're gonna go. We're gonna look in images. We'll do a CD images, and we'll do an LS, uh, and then we'll do a CD for uh, apps, and then a CD for. Oops, and then actually from there we can do an LS. And here you can see all of the different icons that are already in that folder there. Now I actually uh, was a bit proactive here. Let me find. So uh, I actually uh, copied these over to my desktop or into a folder on my, on my local computer uh, so that we can see uh, all of the different icons that are basically pre-installed in this application here. Um, everything from AirSonic, like we've already got in there, Plex, Qubit, Torrent, Radar, Riot, uh, all kinds of stuff that I've actually already done uh, videos on. So, um, so let's come back to this. So now this should be good. Now, um, because I have uh, actually decommissioned the server since I made the video about this, this one's not gonna work. So let's actually grab another one, but I wanted to have a couple of them in there uh, just so you could see what that's gonna look like. Now, the next one I wanna do here, uh, I'm gonna do a couple of drop downs there and we're gonna do MB. Again, we're gonna have the name in uh, square brackets. Prefix here is HTTP. The URL is actually just my local uh, Bruce Banner. This is my local home server, and it's gonna be on uh, port 896 with a uh, forward slash web there. Again, the icon and the sidebar icon. Now these are already in here for MB. Uh, if we go up here and we find it right here. So MB is in there, it's just MB.png. So we can use that relative path for static images, apps, MB.png, both of those. You can give it a description uh, if you wanna do that. And then you can tell it uh, to open in a new tab. So let's go ahead and click on save there. And here you can see it popped out open or popped up a couple of new uh, tabs over here. But if we go to the dashboard here, we can see it's got AirSonic and it's got MB. If I click MB, it popped it right open into a new window. And there you can see my MB dashboard. So let's go ahead and close that. Um, let's actually, I've got a whole bunch of these that I've already built. because so I've already got this set up once. So I've got a bunch of these. So what I'm gonna do, is I'll just come over here to settings. Uh, I'm, again, I'm just gonna drop down a couple of tabs and I'm just gonna paste all of that in there. Um, so then we can go ahead and click on save again. And there is a whole bunch of them. That, what I really like about this is you can build this config.ini file uh, very, very quickly. And then you can go back to your dashboard and there is all of, oops, YouTube download. Apparently I screwed that up. Uh, let's see here, that very last one. Maybe it's not in there for some reason, but uh, you can always go in and uh, add more images to that folder. Uh, you would just have to go in to uh, use something like FileZilla, log, log in on, on port 22 as root, uh, navigate to that folder, and you can put in all of the images you want to. Um, they may or may not stay if there's an update, but uh, just know that you can add more images to this uh, pretty easily. So uh, that's it. So like if I wanted to, I could click on, you know, Open Media Vault and it's gonna take me there or Pi Hole. Uh, there's my Pi Hole dashboard. Uh, Portainer, we've already got open, but there it is as well. So very, very easy to set up and install. Uh, I did say though that I would uh, show you uh, the code for uh, doing this in a container or in a stack rather. So if you wanted to, you could come over here to Portainer, go to stacks, uh, obviously create a new stack. Uh, we're just gonna copy this. we we'll just paste that in there. I'm just gonna call it dash machine. Uh, the only thing you would ever have to change in here is just the volume where your configuration file is gonna go. Uh, maybe change port 5000 if you need to, uh, if you've got something else on port 5000. Um, but other than that, it's a pretty straightforward install there. Uh, run that, give it a minute to do its thing. Um, you may have to manually go in and start it there as well, like we did a moment ago. Uh, but once you've got that, then you can jump over to uh, your local servers uh, and then port 5000 and start building your own dashboard very, very quickly. Okay guys, so there's how to install Dash Machine as your own local like bookmark dashboard, whether you wanna use this for uh, the applications or the containers you've got on your home server, or you wanna have, uh, you wanna point that to other URLs, whether it's maybe you've got a hosted service somewhere you wanna to link to, or your favorite websites or whatever, you can use this dashboard for all kinds of different stuff like that, whether it's locally hosted or remotely hosted, or there's a favorite website or whatever, you can really uh, build this how you wanna build it. So there are more configuration 
options available. Uh, I just wanted to show the basic install and how to set up the dashboard itself. You can set up backgrounds, you can change colors, all kinds of different things you can do in there. So uh, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up, it would help me out a ton. Also, if you wanna support the channel, I've got a couple of links down below, uh, whether it's through a service called Coffee, which is like a PayPal tip jar, or uh, I've got a Patreon that I've got set up. And for five bucks a month, you'll get access to a patrons only Discord server. So uh, if you're interested in doing either of those, that would be amazing, would help me out a bunch. But I think with all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up here. Oh, also, before I do that, if you're interested in these kinds of videos, uh, these home server style videos, uh, definitely get subscribed. I've got more content like this coming out. Uh, but with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support and I'll talk to you in the next video.